Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make perfect New York cheesecake. Making the perfect New York cheesecake is a lot easier than you might think, and it takes 10 minutes tops to get it in the oven. Once it's in the oven, it does take quite a bit of time, but really, it's super easy. To make the classic graham cracker crust, you'll need two packages of graham crackers, or about 16 of them. I kind of break mine in half a little bit to get them into that food processor. Then I'm going to pulverize these into small crumbs. Pour all of your crumbs into a medium-sized mixing bowl, and then you want to pour in four tablespoons of melted butter and use a fork to toss this all together. Now to make this cheesecake, you're going to need a nine inch springform pan. A springform pan has two pieces, the bottom and the side, and it uses pressure in this buckle to keep the two together, but they do come apart. Scoop all of your graham cracker crumbs into the bottom of that springform pan, and then you'll want to use your hands to gently press it down into an even layer. Just press it down and get it as even as possible. It may still feel a little bit loose, but don't worry, that's okay. Next, we're gonna put together the cheesecake. You'll need four eight ounce bricks of softened cream cheese and two cups of granulated sugar. And we're gonna mix this together and whip it until it's nice and fluffy. I like to slowly increase the speed to give it a good whipping. You can use either a hand mixer or a stand mixer for this. Be sure to stop and scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl so everything gets mixed in. After about a minute of mixing, we're gonna add in one cup of sour cream. Scoop that in there. And we're also gonna add in four large eggs and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. If you wanna go super fancy, you can also scrape out the seeds from a six inch vanilla bean, but that can get a little bit pricey. We'll whip this together for about a minute as well. Be sure to stop and scrape the sides and bottom for this part as well. Last, add in half a cup of flour to help give our cheesecake some structure. And we're gonna mix this in until the mixture is smooth. Then we're gonna transfer this all into our springform pan right on top of that graham cracker crust. And gently smooth out the top and you can see that this fills our springform pan all the way to the top. Now the last thing that you want to happen is to have your beautiful cheesecake crack while it's baking. In order to prevent that, I have a couple of tricks. You're gonna take a piece of aluminum foil and crumple it up and make it a little bit flat I have a couple others that I've done that with as well. And we're gonna make a little elevated portion in the middle of this tray and place our cheesecake on top of that. And we're gonna surround that cheesecake with ice cubes. Just one layer of ice cubes will do it. This will help our cheesecake bake evenly and prevent cracking. Then we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for one hour, keeping the door closed the whole time. After an hour, don't do anything. Keep the oven door shut and turn the temperature off. Just let it sit with the oven door shut for five to six hours so that the cheesecake can cool super slow. This will also help prevent cracking. At that point, you can safely remove the cheesecake from the oven. Once it's completely cooled, we can remove the springform pan. So I'm gonna unbuckle it here, and it presses itself out. You can see it pulls itself away from the edges, so we can just slide this off. You can serve it up directly on the springform pan platter, or you can carefully transfer it to a cake platter if you wanna be a little fancier. Serve it up plain or top it with your favorite topping. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.